when I'm doing my Facebook targeting, the majority of the time, I'll always combine flexing and stacking together, right? So when I say flexing and stacking, flex targeting is basically just where you're clicking on the narrow audience button in your, in your, in your targeting section, right? So, so there's two targeting tactics I'll commonly use, and one's called uh, flexing, and the other is called stacking. So I'll basically always use flexing, and then I'll sometimes use stacking depending on the audience size. So let me just show you what flex targeting and stacking is, right? So, so in the Facebook Ads Manager, if we create an ad set, and we go down to the targeting section here, the detailed targeting. So flex targeting is basically when you have like interest, say, <clears throat> we'll just put in dogs. Flex targeting is when you select this hyperlink down here, which is narrow audience, right? So dogs, so I love dogs, right? So this, so we can say now that this dogs targeting is flexed with this I love dogs targeting. So this here is flex targeting and you can have different levels of flex targeting. So if I add another interest here with another dog, with another dog interest here, this is a really hyper targeted interest. And what it means is that someone must have an interest in dogs and must also have an, an another interest in I love dogs and another interest in dogs here. So this is the level one, level two, level three. Flex stacking is doing this, right? So it's having interest within a same group, right? So let's say if we, so let's take out, let's stack this with like dog lovers and dog lovers club, right? So now we can say that we've stacked the first level of interest and we're also flexing the first level of interest with these two other levels of interest, right? So this is stacked and this is flexed, right? So flex means and and stack means or. So what do I mean when I say that, right? So this stacked interest means that the user must have an interest in dog lovers or dog lovers club or dogs and then flexed with these. So, and must also have at least one of the following. I love dogs and must have an interest in dogs, right? So this is like dog lovers or dog lovers club or dogs and I love dogs and dogs. So if that's a little bit confusing, it's okay. We'll go a bit into more detail in a little bit. So so as I said, I always use flex targeting when testing. Um, it's how you get laser targeted interests because it's always gonna be more targeted if you're flexed. Um, so I always include the interest online shopping in a single interest group. This ensures your audience have a history of making transactions online. So Facebook knows who the online shoppers are on Facebook. And if you're testing on PPE, you wanna include online the online shopping interest because you wanna get your audience to be the most likely people to convert, right? So, so when I say that, what I mean is that I'll always have, I'll always flex the online online shopping here, right? And it's a huge audience there, yeah? it's like 831 million people. So it's really, really broad, but we still wanna be flexing with online shopping because we don't wanna target people that don't have a history of purchasing online because that's not who will end up buying our products, right? So we always wanna flex this online shopping interest when testing. So I always include three to four levels of targeting, right? So I talked about levels before, yeah? So levels is just like these boxes here, right? So this is one level, two level, three level, and four level, right? So always have three to four levels here. Sometimes if the audience is really small, um, I, you can do two levels, but I try to stay away from it. Only if the audience is really, really small, I'll flex two levels, but yeah, I usually aim for three or four, and that's including the online shopping interest. So I always try to create a level of targeting that includes places where the target audience is already shopping. So this is this is a major, major thing, right? So, so say if you're promoting uh, like a, a dog collar, right? So you wanna be targeting like shops or online shops where your prospect would be already shopping, right? So like petco.com. Yeah, so you wanna think of where your target audience would shop on preferably online and target those shopping sites, right? So that's a super targeted audience. And I've got down here that I will sometimes use stacking for demographic, demographics and interests, right? So if I'm stacking interests and demographics, I'll always separate them into their own levels. Never stack interests and demographics in the same level, right? So if I'm going here, right? So let's just say, Let's just say I want to target um, parents with children, right? So that's a demographic targeting, yeah? So, right, so say I want to target parents with children, right? So, so let's look at this. Let's stack parents with this demographic is stacked, right? So 
targeting here either parents with preschoolers three to five or parents with early school age children six to eight. So if I was to target this, I wouldn't put any interest in here, right? So this is demographics. I would never stack interests and demographics together, right? And the reason you can tell if the interests and demographics are stacked is because when you add an, an interest in here, it comes up with interests, right? So make sure you never stack demographics and interests together. Always have them separately in a separate level of targeting. So this is an example of a stack. So I've just basically done this to show you different ways of stacking. I wouldn't actually use this for a product because yeah, it's just demonstration. So here's a demographic stack we can see here. Um, level two is a single broad interest, right? So online shopping has a huge audience, right? So it's, this is called a single broad interest. And then here, level three, an interest stack. So we've got different kinds of like places where people would go to buy pet products. So this is a really good stack if you're, if you're going to, um, if you're promoting uh, like pet toys, 